SMT Nation, thanks for tuning into this edition of the channel. I wanted to do this special edition, this special video for you guys to give you some insight onto what's going on on my home site right now. All right, so this is probably not really all that far. I'd say just over maybe a mile and a half or two miles away. This is going to be really close, and I can't wait to test this for you guys. But this site is a Verizon site that was really old. Uh, I'd say that the max capacity when I used to test it would be like 50 to 60 megabits per second. It had a uh, really low fiber backhaul. Uh, I don't even think it had fiber, honestly. It was probably some kind of, <laughs> I don't know, some kind of a coaxial setup. But anyways, they're upgrading it right now as we speak. There's not much left to do. The guys have been up there for a couple of weeks. A couple different crews have been there. There was a prep crew. Now there's these guys up here climbing the towers and installing a whole bunch of gear. Anyways, turn your attention to these two uh, pieces of gear here with these radios and these antennas. All right, so this is a C-band Samsung. Uh, I guess we'll just call it a, a, a node or whatever. This is um, a set of, you know, the gear that you guys are going to start to see from Verizon. This one is C-band. This one here is CBRS. So how can you tell the difference? All right, so the, the main difference is just when you see them next to each other, you'll see a size difference. The C-band is a little bigger. The CBRS is a little smaller. Obviously, it's more powerful. This is a macro, traditional macro frequency. It's going to go full power. The CBRS, a little bit lower on the power level. So um, obviously, the gear is a little smaller as well. It's quite noticeable. Um, there's a couple things I want to show you as well, and I actually have a better shot. So here's one sector, the view. You got all the other LT stuff and some stuff getting moved around. Uh, let me show you guys this, though. Here's a better shot from another sector. You can kind of see the ventilation that's on the sides here. You'll see it's a little larger. That's your C-band. And then here's your CBRS right here as they're installing all the gear. These were just replaced too. All right, so um, let me show you guys something and what you can expect to see from Verizon. Now, remember, Verizon has 30 megahertz of bandwidth in the licensed for CBRS in my market. They can also deploy additional unlicensed spectrum. So that channel is going to be going to LT first, but it will go to 5G, and I'll explain how in a minute. Again, Samsung CBRS, Samsung C-band. These uh, panels, I believe, can do up to 280 megahertz. Verizon doesn't own that. They own, I think, 160 or 180 megahertz in my market. They'll only have 60 at the time of the launch of the A block. So we'll be seeing tons of speed here. I'm expecting 800 megs to a gigabit speed on this. And I'm expecting somewhere between like five and 600 megabits per second on this. Uh, but this should reach far with a couple miles of reach, maybe mile and a half, a couple miles. This one probably more like a half a mile. I don't know. It's a tall macro. It, it might push a mile. We'll see. I'll test them both. All right. So here's what you're going to see. Here's the Samsung CBRS Massive MIMO radio. All right. It is 5G enabled with a software update. With a flip of a switch, they can turn it from LT to 5G or they can split it. They can run, you know, part of the spectrum on LT and part of the spectrum on 5G. So they can do that. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Here's the C-band antennas and, and radio. This is that entire assembly. This is what it looks like. It's a little bigger. You can see the ventilation, you know, there on the side. Uh, you'll see those little anchor points at the bottom where they put in all the, you know, the cables and such. All right. So there's another view of the CBRS. Compare that to the C-band. You'll see it is a little bit more rounded at the edges there. So when you're looking for these things, that's what you're looking for. All right. I know it's not Ericsson gear. I'm sorry. I wish I had Ericsson gear. I know that's the gold standard in 5G. But in my experience, the Samsung is pretty good. So I'll take it. Better than Nokia. Here's another view of the CBRS radio on the side. You can see those little ridges there. And I think that's pretty much it. And this just shows you like the power of the C-band gear and such. Let me know if you've seen any of this up in your market from Verizon. I can't wait to test this. Uh, let me know if you guys are in Samsung markets or if you're in Ericsson markets, if you've been seeing these upgrades. I can't wait to test mine. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Please like and share this video. Subscribe for more. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss an upload. Check out the links in the description box, the Twitter handle, the email, and also the Patreon page if you want to get exclusive content and early access to videos and support us there. Get discounts on most mobile. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.